Rahman Ar Rahim. The title of the lecture is Atherosclerosis and Overview. As we know, atherosclerosis is a leading cause of death, and it is associated with multiple additive risk factors. So it is multifactorial. There is a host of risk factors, in fact. Hyperlipidemia, hypertension, smoking, diabetes, physical inactivity, reduced level of high-density lipoproteins, hyperhomocysteinemia, and hypercoagulable states. A key word in relation to atherosclerosis is the word atheroma. Atheroma is a complex lesion and it is associated with certain cellular elements and collagen and also certain lipids. Its progression is related to cholesterol and cholesterol ester. Cholesterol and the cholesterol ester come from atherogenic lipoproteins. We have a host of different lipoproteins that can function as atherogenic lipoproteins, have the potential to participate in the process of atherosclerosis. These are LDL, IDL, VLDL, and an LDL light particle, which we call LPA. We are going to explain this further later. As you notice, all these species are associated with APO B100. They have APO B100 as their marker. Other atherogenic lipoproteins include chylomicron remnants. And these, of course, as we know, have APO B48 as their surface marker. In fact, the atherogenicity of these species of lipoproteins is related to the potential for these lipoproteins to be oxidized. So a key word in the pathogenesis of atherosclerosis is oxidized lipoproteins. Oxidation takes place by reactive oxygen species produced by tissues and also by lipooxygenases of macrophages. Now we would like to mention a few words about this LDL-like species, which is called LP small a, which is one of the atherogenic lipoproteins. LPA is a glycoprotein, and it is synthesized in the liver. It has homology to plasminogen, and this means that it has a binding affinity to plasminogen activators. Perhaps we need to explain this point a little bit. We know in the coagulation system, there is a kind of homeostasis between the system which carries out the coagulation and the system which breaks down the blood clot. Plasminogen and tissue plasminogen activators are part of the second system, the system which breaks down the blood clot. Plasminogen activator is the major enzyme which is responsible for clot breakdown. So, in this system, plasminogen is activated to plasmin by tissue plasminogen activators. 
Essentially, tissue plasminogen activator is a serine protease. So LPA has homology to plasminogen. And as I said, it is synthesized in the liver, goes to the circulation. In the circulation, it meets LDL. So this is the LDL particle. And that is the single copy of the EPOB100 on the surface. And LPA, these are the amino acid sequence of LPA. It associates with LDL in the circulation by a disulfide bridge. And it forms a lipoprotein that is LDL-like, which we call LPA, lipoprotein. And this is, as I said, a variant of LDL. This variant the LPA variant is highly atherogenic, and it is a risk factor for atherosclerosis. We don't know exactly what is its physiological function, but it may be related to the coagulation system. Maybe. What about its catabolism? It is not through LDL receptor. Maybe. It is subject to kidney clearance. The atherogenic properties of LPA is related to the fact that it promotes thrombogenesis. This is by competing with plasminogens. We mentioned that it has homology to plasminogen. So in that way, it reduces fibrinolysis. In other words, it occupies the active sites on the plasminogen activator serine proteases, and thus prevents it from performing its function in catalyzing the reaction in which plasminogen is converted to plasmin. So it inhibits fibrinolysis. The second mechanism for promoting thrombogenesis is by stimulation of plasminogen activator inhibitors. We have a plasminogen activator inhibitor called PAI1. This is stimulated by LPA, so it inhibits thrombolysis and it promotes thrombogenesis. So these are the two possible mechanisms of action as an atherogenic factor. We have to notice that LPA level greatly differs between population. Also, we have to notice that the mean value is high in Africans.